All right, guys, anybody in the painting business knows about these oranges and how much of a pain sometimes they can be if the color's not right. So we got a big one in here today, guys, all apart from a Dodge Ram. So let's stay tuned to this one, guys. I think this will be a real pretty one when we get it all done. What's up? So welcome back. And today we're going to be shooting this nice big Dodge Ram job and it's one of them burnt orange colors. So I've done a couple of these in the past and some of these colors can really fight you. So if you don't have that ground coat dialed in, like I told you in the last video, you'll really be fighting these colors because they're very transparent. So let's get into sealing this one up. We'll be putting the ground coat on and then we'll be putting on the uh, burnt orange color. So this is code PBL and let's get into this one guys. sealed up on our new part and on our repairs we put sealer which is a solvent over the top of the uh, repair area and I do that even if I finish off my bodywork real smooth I always seal it because I like the way the water base lays over the uh, solvent and over the sealer so I don't like just painting over my parts because I like the way it you'll have a better uh, adhesion with the sealer and they recommend that with the Sherwin so I didn't put sealer on the edge of this because we're going to be using the uh, ground coat that's recommended for this color in the base coat. So we'll put that on our blends and we'll put that on our panels that we're painting fully. So let's go ahead and do that now. ground coat and it's a dark gray almost like what we had for the actual sealer color but I always use the base coat on certain colors like these reds and these oranges because it calls for some red and some yellow in the actual ground coat and in my line of sealers I don't have any red or yellow to add into that gray to give it that yellowy look so I always use the original ground coat is what recommended by Sherwin-Williams for the base coats guys so it's real close but don't take any chances because it's got more of a yellowy look than the sealer does. That sealer is more of a bluer shade. So we're all based out. And this color here, I've already sprayed a card for. On my last job before this one, I went ahead and sprayed the card already to check the color to make sure it's good. So it's a real pretty orange. I think you guys will like this one once I get it all said and done. And I'm gonna use this here this is two coats with a drop and it was covered really well. So we're gonna put two and a drop on this, the same as the card. So let's get into basing it out now, orange. And we're using the 3M gun with the 1.4, guys.
that it's all flashed off, so we're gonna go to coat two now. So we'll let this second coat flash. We'll put a drop on it and I'm gonna drop it at 15 PSI and then we'll come in and clear it with the DV1 with the with the C1 cap on this one guys because these rams are a slicker slicker finish on them. So let's drop it and clear it and see what we get out of this one. So here goes the clear coat guys. We're gonna clear this one up nice with two coats to the CC200 with the US4 and the UH90 hardener. So that's my uh, go-to hardener and my go-to reducer for this clear. So I told you guys last time, this is my favorite clear because it's fast. It looks great. It's got a good holdout and it doesn't like to slide on you. It likes to hang on for the hill. So let's go ahead and clear it guys. one let's put coat two on
right, so it came out good, and that code is PBL, and that's the U Ultra 9K Waterborne Sherwood Williams, guys. Pretty color, real vivid, and it's a burnt orange, so this is on a Ram pickup truck, 1500, and it looks really good. I'm real happy with it. Came out nice, guys, so hope you guys got something good out of this one. Make sure you use the right ground coat and uh, you should be good if you spray a card and check it. So see you on the next one, guys.